dedicated her time to make sure that I got that I knew what, what I was doing in school and she watched me uh, get married she watched me in all my pregnancies um, she helped me with Bible verses she was always there if someone needed her she made uh, she made a snack for us to eat she was the most humblest person I ever knew for real you could just stand in her presence and you she would just like give you the attention that you needed. Had that amazing smile. This, this is a celebration because she's going up there, Aaron. She's gonna beat you this time because she's gonna fix the mansion up before you do it the way she wants it. So when we get up there. Uh, and at Sunday school, she um helped us make crafts and cards that people who helped us out. Wonderful to know her, always smiling, always be touching, encouraging, always caring. It was wonderful. We thank God for her life. She was like my second mom ever since I moved in here. I just wanted to thank you for helping me with my homework and help for helping me to understand algebra and working with me countless hours just trying to understand and get better with all of my work, schoolwork. She's good with helping kids out. 
she would always accept the fact that I followed her around wherever she went. And um, I would always be with her whenever she was in the kitchen. And she used to teach me a lot when I was um, very little. Paula, you will be missed. Uh, my family will miss you. We miss your smile, your dedication, you're a committed wife, you're a very committed you know, mom to your kids. Uh, you're Proverbs 31.30. Beauty is fleeting, charm is deceptive, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And that is you. No more sorrows, no more pain, no more trials. You're with Jesus. You're rejoicing in His presence. And that's the only thing that really comforts us. Her smile and how welcoming she always was. She was always there to give you a warm smile and a handshake and, you know, just share a little bit about her life or your life. Have a nice, you know, conversation with you. Paula used to help me when I was little. Um, we watched Paula grow up, and she was always a good student. She did quite well, went to Thomas Jefferson Magnet School, which back then, with very few people of Hispanic background, did. I love the fact that she loved the Lord and took care of her family, her house. She she was a, a woman to be admired. I introduced her to my wife when uh, I started coming to Bible study more regular, and my wife came. So every time then, from then on, I would come in the house and Paula would say, Hey, Fred, give me a hug. But then she'd see my wife, she'd say, Hi, Sharika! Oh my gosh! Like, I was like, oh, no. what about me? No. <laughs> I remember of her that her image is just a flower around her all the time. Every time I see her, just uh, very positive and um, sunshine <laughs> in her on her mind and on her face. I just she's been so good to me since I moved to here in Virginia, and she's my closest friend. And she was so sweet, loving, caring. Every detail she remembers about me. And I just really, that touched me a lot. First, and Jesus Christ of the Lord, and he's in heaven and the earth. Her smile and her voice, because whenever she would say something, she would say it with kindness, patience, and like with time, so we could like understand what she's saying. The Easter I come every Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. She would always make it easy enough but hard enough for all of us kids to find the eggs. She used to have sleepovers. She she used to make the best of food in the morning. She made like chocolatey pancakes. She made the best cream. Me and Fred Solomon here got baptized on the same day. There was a little party thing downstairs and the food that Paula made was extraordinary. The food was awesome. <laughs> Paula, we miss you and I'll always miss your beautiful smile. Love you. She always made my brother happy. She was his everything. So I guess the one thing I'll miss is seeing them together because it was like, if you send my brother, it was always Aaron and Paula. It's what I'll miss the most is like just seeing her presence and seeing her smile and, and her comments and just the way she, um, just the way she was full of um, wisdom and she was full of like a lot of advice. Today, I keep hearing music and it makes me think about you. I miss you a lot. My mom came home from work. She used to like snuggle with us. And um, in the middle of the night, I used to sneak into a bed and she would always let me in. <laughs> she also went to my baseball games with my dad. She always support me and just make sure I was safe. The one was like the nosy one. What does the nosy puffer do? It gets hung up in your business. <laughs> she left me a note like for school. And then also when she'd come home, rocking a bit to see me bark. Like, so then like, 
he knows that she'd be there and every time he just like wait at the door for her. The way she comes in, he just like jump all over her and he'd say it. It would be her voice, her thoughts, her ideas. Mostly be her. Hearing her voice, because I always heard her. And that's the one thing that I just wanted her to hear. Thank you, Mom, for being the best mom ever and taking care of me when I was little. I will care.